All right, fellas, super quick video today. Uh, this is my 99 Civic B-Series swap, B16 specifically. Uh, just gonna do a quick video on the accessories. So my biggest thing with this, it is a sedan. So for now, at least, she's not gonna be a race car. So I want to keep the accessories, power steering, not a huge concern, but AC and uh, obviously need an alternator. So few people have issues. I know I found a, I had a bit of difficulty trying to uh, get some information on these brackets and uh, converting these accessories over and this and that and the other things. So uh, the way that I did this is for the AC way down there. Excuse the mess, this is still in the works, but this is what our last warm day, so I thought I'd film all the stuff now. So the easiest way for me uh, is I used a D-Series, my D16Y7 AC compressor. So the way I got that mounted on is I grabbed a bracket from a 97, I believe, CRV. Uh, but any 90 CRV should work. Uh, when you rip the compressor off, there are some stamped numbers on it. And you're looking for the P7J. And that will allow you to mount up the D-Series compressor onto a B-series engine and still have the stud at the correct height. Once again for power steering we're using CRV brackets but we're going to use for all three and you can make a D-series mount work. I believe you just need to make a little flat bar tab there. When I bought the B16 I had a B-series power, power steering pump come with it so uh, it's just super easy. With the power steering there's a little tin bracket that spaces the two and just different castings of the block, I believe. I had to unbolt it, it's like two 10 mil bolts. Throw away that tin piece and just bolt these on separately. All the lines swap over to a B-series pump so it bolts on nice and easy. So power steering, pretty easy. Swap the lines over, you're done there. The last one is gonna be the alternator. Once again, using CRV brackets. The only issue here is for the Intake manifold, the bottom bolt under the first runner here, which is somewhere down, somewhere down there. Using the CRV bracket, uh, it does cover the bolt head a little bit, so you just have to, fingers bleeding right on. So I just had to use an angle grinder and uh, notch it out, so I'm able to slide a bolt uh, just above it there, and it gives you enough room. Bolts right in. And I just grabbed an alternator out of it. You need to make sure whether you have an OBD1 or OBD2, get a matching alternator. You can make a D-Series work. Uh, this one is actually pretty common. Uh, some people get away with uh, using just one bolt. That's absolutely terrifying, even for me, so I wouldn't recommend it. But again, piece of flat bar, you're able to make a spacer, because they're different uh, mounting locations. But uh, using the B-Series brackets off CRV, you notch that piece out and she bolts in just fine. And that's pretty much it, nice and easy. So now I know a lot of people doing B-Series swaps are doing this for a race car, but again, this is my daily. I want to keep AC especially, but you know, do what you can. This may not be for everyone, but hopefully this helps. Uh, the biggest thing is the AC bracket. There are a couple different versions. The one you want says P7J on it. It's stamped in pretty similar to this, but Unfortunately, you got to take, take the compressor off to get to it. But uh, if you get the right one, you got to keep the same SI torsion mount there uh, that bolts to the frame rail. And it's nice and easy. So pretty straightforward. Hopefully it's a quick video and hopefully this helps you out. If you have any comments or concerns, post in the comments. I'll see if I can help you guys out. Super easy. Everything's from a 97 CRV and most of them should be the same. So good luck. Get